Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Photos app. So today we're going to be talking about the Photos app, which is Apple's um, app to look at your photos. And so we have the camera app where we take our pictures, and then the photo app is really where you view, edit, organize, and share your photos. Right. And it's quite a complex little app, and it's really great. So we, really we're is. doing these three or four videos on it. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on how to view your video, uh, view your pictures, um, especially because you know we used to get the printouts and make you know physical books. Right. So now right. uh, you know how you view them is very important on the iPad or the That's iPhone. That's right. That's right. And so I'm going to go into the Photos app here. I press on it. Now, um, the iPhone and the iPad are exactly the same. Right. Um, again, it's the iPad is a bigger, you know, surface. So sometimes some things that will fit on one screen here on your phone, it might be on two different. Might be screens. a little bit different. Just yep. look around. You're going to see the yep. same things. They're just going to be in a little bit different, right. perhaps location. So. So the first thing to when you come into the Photos app, what you notice is uh, down here there are three little icons, and the the folder one says Photos, or it's a little it's a little a rectangle, and then in the center there's a cloud that says Shared, and then another rectangle on the end that says Albums. And um, what we're going to focus on today is photos and albums. And these are two different ways to view your photos. Um, we do have a separate um, tech bit for the shared albums. Right. But we're not going to talk about that today. So the first one we're going to talk about is the albums view mm -hmm. and for viewing your photos. And um, the first one is this one called All Photos. Right. And um, we're on the iPad, so they're kind of going horizontal like a grid, but on your phone, it'll be more like a list going right. down. Right. And what All Photos is, is it's all photos that you've taken. And if you have iCloud Photo Library turned on, it'll be synced through all your devices with iCloud. Right. And so this will be all photos you've taken on any device. Right, which would be similar if you're familiar with the camera roll in the old version. Right. So it's yep. really all the pictures yep. as they come in. So it's all the pictures that you've right. taken in the order that they've come into your device. Right. So if someone has shared a picture with you that was taken earlier in in the date time, it's still going to show up when you brought it in here. So it's when it comes into your device. Okay. Yep. So that's our first way to view photos. Then after that, what we're going to see is several albums, they're called, like photo albums. They're kind of folders is another way to think of it. And these are preset ones that Apple has set up for you, and um, we're going to go through those now. This one is with a little heart is called favorites. And when I'm in a photo, if I'm in a particular photo, you'll see right up here there's a little heart icon. And if I heart it, it's automatically to put it my fav favorites album. So I'm gonna navigate back out. And again, it's the same navigation that's always on your iPad and your iPhone. In the center, it tells you where you are. I'm on the picture Naples, and it tells you the date and the time that you took it, the day and the time that you took it. And then um, you see there's an arrow here, which means I can navigate back. So it says all photos. I'm going back there now. Not so, going to favorites and showing right, oh, it's there now. I am. <clears throat> so this is uh, further navigating back to albums. There I'm back at my page, and here's my favorites. So if I click on that, and I go down to the... There it is. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's great. So I'm going to navigate back out again to see all my albums. And the next one is one that was new with uh, nine point with iOS nine. Right. Is selfies, and these will be uh, it will automatically put them in this folder, which is great. Right. Anything that you take with a forward facing camera. Right. So that's a nice one. And the next one is panoramas. It will automatically put any photos that you take in panoramas in this um, album. And the reason it does that is because there's such a different size than the other photos right, of course right so um it wouldn't fit you know view, viewing in the grid right now if, if you take yeah. a slightly <clears throat> bigger photo but not a really long panoramic it will put it in regular all right. photos <clears throat> right and then the next one is videos it's going to conveniently put all your videos in there very nice and the same thing with slow-mo and time lapse anything you take with um those um, features turned on it'll automatically put it there and this one is bursts, and it will automatically put any photos that you take that are a burst. Which is great. Right? right. So you can keep track of, um, if you're like me, I act to, do, to take a burst, 
you press and hold on the button. Um, I end up taking them a lot accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> so I like that it puts it in its own folder so I can go in there and see, oh, I didn't mean to have that be a burst because you can have uh, end up having a lot a of lot. photos. A lot. So this right. way, you know, check your burst photo album yeah. frequently and edit them, which we're going to show you how to do in a few minutes. Right. And then... The next one is something that was new with nine, iOS 9.2, and it's called screenshots, which is great. Um, right. Anything you take as a screenshot, it will put in this folder. Right. And to do a screenshot, you press down on your home button and your power button yep. at the same time. Go ahead and do it. And then it'll, the screen flashes. See? You so see you the screen flashes. Yep. Now if I go look in there. There's our screenshot. There's the screenshot. It's a great way to capture something. Yeah. Um, if you want to show somebody, mm -hmm. or you know, you've got something. Yeah, which capture. we do a lot for training. So we, in particular, right. like this right. <laughs> folder because we can go clean them out after we're done. We don't need them. Right. And then this is the hidden folder, which you can hide some photos um, to prevent maybe other people from looking at them. But it's not. It doesn't really work that well because it, they can go and see them. Right. It hides them. <laughs> where it hides them from is the other view we're going to show you in a minute, the photos view. Right. If you're in all photos, you can still see them. So okay. I'm not really sure. And this is a, the next folder is recently deleted. And that's a folder um, when you delete a photo, if I'm just in a well, regular. yeah, you can go to the book. I'm going right. to. When you go in and delete a photo, you know, you can delete a photo. And then it'll put it automatically in your deleted photo, photo folder for uh, a period of time before it completely gets rid of them. And it puts them at the top. There it is. You can see how many days, 29 days, 15 days. So I think it gives you about 30 days right. um, to go back and say, oh, wait, I didn't want to delete that, you know? Right. And now let's say that about this one. Right. You didn't want to delete it. So, so we, we go, go to that one and then we recover, recover down here. Over the photo. And now it's back. Yep. But it is nice because you can see you do it does give you 30 days or so to recover, yep. which is great. Yep. Okay, so then after so these were all the ones that are sort of preset by Apple that come with it. Then anything <clears throat> after the recently deleted are custom albums that you've created. Right. And we're going to show you how to do that on um, organizing photos, which is a different tech bet that we're going to do. But um, you can see that we've organized them a lot. And the nice thing about these um, custom albums that you create is that it's creating a collection of photos that you want to be in that album, but they're still also in your all photos. Right. Good thing to notice, right? Yeah. <clears throat> you can have one photo in many different albums. You can organize them in many different ways. Mm -hmm. um, and also nice to note is that you cannot change the order of these albums, the first ones. It's always yeah. going to be all photos, favorite, selfies, pen. The ones that Apple creates are always in the same place. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that is albums view. Now we're going to focus on the photos view. Right. And the photos view over here <clears throat> is a little bit different. We're going to go into photos view. And Craziness. I, yeah, I've got it all the way out to the years mode. At the top, um, you can see that it says years right here. And it's showing me based on when the pictures were taken. I've got some older ones in here that I must have brought over from 1996, even going back that far. And then as I scroll through, here's 2014, and here's 2015. There's a lot of pictures. A little tiny picture. <laughs> How could you easily look through those? Yeah, well, I'll show you. But first of all, I want to point out, too, that it also shows you at the top different places that you went during that time period. So this says Hamburg. I don't know how to pronounce that, Florida, Georgia, Wisconsin, and so on. So it shows you where you've been. And if you want to take a look at these, you can do it a couple of different ways. One way is if you tap and hold, it's going to bring up a preview of the picture. And you can kind of scrub around to get an idea of where is that picture I wanted to look at. It's pretty cool. Where's that group of you know pictures I took of the horses? And then, boom, it's going to take you right to that picture. Right. Oh, and look, notice this here. That little it's downloading, dial. yep. Downloading it from the cloud. From the iCloud, right. <clears throat> so anytime you want to you know, look at a picture or edit it or do anything like pinching and zooming, it's going to download it from... The high res. The high res. I'm going to go back one to the collection. Now this is showing the collection that was taken in Minnesota on April 11th. And then you can just kind of look through this particular collection, find a picture that maybe you want to take a look at, and then you can go in and look at it. And then again, as Karen pointed out, it's got the date and the time. 
I can go back to moments, shows me that moment in time, shows me the collection in time. So yeah. this is a little bit broader look, March 23rd mm -hmm. through May 18th. And keep going back out until we get to the year. Right. So I think it can be kind of a confusing concept at first for people when it first came yeah. out a couple years ago. But once you like think about it, like it's showing it by year and then zooming into a smaller moment right. collection then yeah, to a moment. moment. And it's really quite handy. <clears throat> right. And it can be. And if you want to take a look at, you know, all the pictures that you've taken on a trip, you can zoom into, you know, a certain day or a couple right. of days and look at them. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we're going to show you how to organize photos into albums for slideshows too, which probably is a little more practical. But another really cool way um, of looking at pictures in here is by location. <clears throat> so... We've zoomed all the way out to the year mode to take a look at this. And we're gonna, I'm going to tap on one of these names up here, and it's going to take us into the map mode. Oh, yeah. This is very cool, especially on the iPad. Yes. It still works on the iPhone, and that's nice, it's just too. just smaller. But this shows where, you know, the majority of my pictures are taken here in Minnesota. I've got some in Florida. I've got some in the Dominican Republic. I can zoom way out. I've got some over in Germany as well. And as you... Begin to zoom in by pinching and dragging out. It's going to start splitting, splitting those out. up by right. location. Now, this, of course, only Whoa. works <laughs> if you have location services on. Yeah. Um, which I think for photos is a fabulous thing. I do, too. Um, so you just can keep zooming, and it's going to just keep splitting them out Whoa. into locations yep. for where you took these pictures. One thing that this is really nice for is if you have taken a picture at a location, but you don't remember when. Right. So yep. you can zoom you remember in where, and say, but not oh, when. I know I took a picture uh, at a certain place, and zoom way in, and oh, yep, there it is. There That's it is. the one I took right yep. at, at that location. That is great. And then if you tap on them, they're going to come up, and you're going to be able to see um, that right. collection of photos. Yep. So it's a really nice feature um, to use. And then what about the... The magnifying, the magnifying glass, glass is how you can search for pictures, and you can do this in the albums mode as well. Mm -hmm. Wherever you see the magnifying glass, you can come up, and it comes up with a few suggested, like nearby. Maybe you want to see all the pictures that were taken nearby. Oh, that's fun. Or one year ago, or your favorites. Oh, yeah. Um, but you also can do things like type in December. This is going to give me all the December pictures I've oh, taken. Oh, cute. Or I could go even further and say December... The and then the year, 2014. So I want to see all, and it's going to even show me, oh, you want December in a year? Look, you've got some in these different years. Right. So then you could tap on those, and you're going to see all the pictures that you took in December of 2013 in this case. Right. So that's a really nice feature. I did. Um, that we did not have um, before. Before, right. but we have yeah. now. Anyway, it's a very nice feature, and that's how you would go ahead and search for pictures. Great. So two different ways to view photos on your, with the Photos app on your iPad or your iPhone. Right. Check out our other um, Tech Bits on the Photos app. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.